friends, p-values are all over data science and the rest of science for that matter, and if you're struggling to make heads or tails of them, it's probably because no one explained them to you in terms of puppies. Instead, if you took a Stat 101 class, the explanation you probably got ran something like this. <clears throat> a p-value is the probability of obtaining a statistic at least as extreme as the one that we just observed in a world where the null hypothesis is actually true. Whew. No wonder that didn't stick. Let's try puppies. You get home and you discover this in your kitchen. And assuming that it's uh, your dog and your kitchen, otherwise everything's a whole lot stranger, you are going to put this dog, Fido, on trial for the crime of having gotten into the garbage bin. You're a reasonable person, so the null hypothesis will be that Fido is innocent. After you have your null hypothesis, you need to imagine, describe what the world looks like where Fido is innocent. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Which is actually the hard part and what all the calculations are all about, is describing the world where Fido is innocent. And then once I've done that, I can ask myself, what's the probability that this world coughs up data at least as weird, at least as damning to innocence, as the data that I got here? When you answer that question, the number that you have just answered with is the p-value. If you live with an eight-year-old, I can imagine that that number is not such a very small number. Hey, eight-year-olds are a special kind of evil. They might put the bin lid on the dog's head as a collar or something. Now, even if you live alone with Fido, you could still imagine a way in which this could happen. Maybe your crazy next door neighbor climbs in through the window, runs all around your apartment, puts the bin lid on the dog's head and out the window again. This is possible. It's just not very probable. In fact, the probability is so teensy tiny that when I squint at it, I feel ridiculous. The lower the p-value, the more ridiculous our null hypothesis looks. And what do we do with a hypothesis that feels ridiculous? We reject that thing in favor of the alternative. Now here's the thing, uncertainty is a jerk. <laughs> uncertainty means you cannot know the answer for sure. So you could make a mistake. Maybe Fido is innocent. You concluded that Fido is guilty. When we do hypothesis testing, we are always asking, does the evidence that we collected make our null hypothesis look ridiculous, yes or no? What the p-value does is provides an answer to that question. It tells you, essentially, whether your evidence makes your null hypothesis look ridiculous. That's what it does, that's not what it is. What it is, is the probability of getting something at least as bad as what we got in that world that we constructed. That's the p-value, it's the punchline. The p-value was never designed to be nice to talk about or think about. It was never supposed to be intuitive supposed to take you a little while to wrap your head around it, but I hope the puppies helped. See you next time.